Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I am back here with a new video, um, my newest Oracle deck. This is going to be a first impressions. Um, not really a review because I actually haven't looked through it a whole lot yet. I've skimmed it, but I wanted to catch my first impressions on video and just share this with you guys. Um, I've been super inspired by um, a few of my friends uh, doing videos and stuff lately, so you're probably going to see a lot more because these are super fun to do. Anyway, um, it is the Beyond Lemuria uh, Oracle deck. I'm not super familiar uh, with working with Oracle decks. I haven't quite found one that I connect with yet. So um, I was just kind of drawn to this one when I was looking. Um, as said, it is the Beyond Lemuria. Uh, if you are familiar with Lemuria at all, it is the kingdom that actually predates, um, that came before Atlantis. Uh, that is a whole other video for a whole other time, um, but I have been looking a little bit into uh, my Starseed connection and uh, kind of past lives and things like that. So I've had um, a calling um, to kind of follow up on this. Anyway, moving on. Like I said, that's a video for another time. Um, like I said, I haven't looked through this a whole lot because um, I wanted to catch my first impressions on camera. Um, anyway, the box is kind of big, um, there's kind of a size comparison there for you. Um, really nice sturdy box, it actually comes with this really nice booklet here, um, it's relatively thick, a lot of these are really thin, um, looks like you've got a couple pages for each card here, kind of depending, this one only has one, this one looks like it's got... There was one that I just saw that had a few pages. There we go. So this one here. A lot of information. Um, like I said, I haven't had a, a lot of chance to look at this. But anyway, so you do have a picture of the card here. It is in black and white, though. But you've got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of um, information here to work with. Um, from what I kind of saw just skimming it, it is a relatively uh, intuitive deck. Um, so you may or may not need the book. I'm going to sit down at some point and kind of browse through this um, just to get more information on um, the author's intention of the, the deck. Anyway, uh, let's just kind of get started. One thing I did notice, um, kind of skimming it, is it's actually like three decks in one and there's different ways you can work with it. So I thought that was super neat. Uh, but right now, let's just kind of look through it. The first portion of it are actually chakras. And I thought it was interesting. This actually starts with your earth star chakra, which is a couple feet um, below you uh, in the ground. So starting from below and kind of ending above you, um, this actually goes through all of the chakras. Um, a lot of good energy transfer in these cards. Um, also, like I mentioned, the box is really big. These are kind of big as well. Um, I'm not used to cards this big, so it, it'll take a little bit of getting used to with it. Uh, I'm just going to kind of set some of these aside while we go through this. So, starting with the um, Earth Star Chakra, super pretty a lot of um, information going on in these a lot of energy going on in these um, so pretty wow um, the root chakra I've been working a lot on my root chakra lately uh, still have a lot of work to go um, so this is the one that is located at the base of your tailbone um, the sacral wow solar plexus here they do seem to be um, have the the colors that are associated with your uh, different chakras your heart chakra there your uh, high heart Huh, I'm actually not familiar with the high heart. 
Okay, that one's new to me. Just look at all that though, so pretty. Throat chakra. Third eye. So like I said, a lot of imagery, a lot of information in these cards. The more you look at it, just the more you see. Um, also, the back of these are really pretty too. Your crown chakra. So, so vast. So pretty. Um, your soul star, which is actually above um, your crown chakra. So that's kind of the chakras there. And then we get into um, elemental. Oops. So ether and so they all have numbers associated with it they all say the name and then they all um so this one says the seamless unspeakable so they have kind of a little prompt there as well um, water kind of like a little water nymph type there air um, looks like they have the elemental signs as well she kind of looks like a little pixie. Earth. Fire. That's an interesting take on fire. I really do like that. So then the bulk of the deck here, um, there's a lot, so I'm just going to try to go through it kind of quickly um, just to share the imagery. These are all... So much, um, a lot of color, a lot of energy, a lot of information going on in these. Wow, I, I'm, I'm super happy with this. I, I just feel the energy from these images. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time. It's starting to get dark out here. Um, so I'm just kind of skim through these. like the little sloth there. Different animals in there with her. I guess the animals can represent different parts of yourself. This kind of looks like lovers. Oh wow, look at her. Journey to wholeness. Mount Shasta. Huh. Oh, that's the one on the cover. Our ancient future. Oh wow, look at that one. Radical expansion. I feel like the I feel like this is me right now, guys. <laughs> These characters here are kind of, they kind of make me think of Avatar, um, the, the one with the blue people, not, not the airbender. Um, they're a little anime-ish, which I really do enjoy. I really love the colors and the artwork on here. A lot of blues and purples, I love blue and purple. But there's just just so much going on in these. Oh, that's interesting. The portal keeper. So I, I can't wait to play around with this deck more. I, I've been waiting um, to actually use it until I actually went through it all and, and kind of did this video. Um, the last one there. So pretty. Um, 
So just some things I'm kind of noticing as I'm going through it. Um, so yes, like I said, they're, they're big. This will be um, something for me to get used to. I guess I'm going to have to shuffle them sideways. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to shuffle them sideways or, or break them. I don't even think I could. I, I might be able to get away with that. Um, I mean, I don't have super tiny hands, but my hands aren't very big. Um, so this is a little awkward. I know most Oracle decks are, are bigger. Um, also, this is heavy. Like, these cards alone are heavy. They're, they're thick card stock. Um, they also have this, um, they're soft, almost a, velvet's probably not the right word, but, um, they're very soft. I like the way they feel in my hands. Um, like I said, they're thick. It's pretty durable. Um, I, I don't foresee, like, I don't think they're going to get messed up from shuffling and playing with. Um, yeah, um, definitely a deck that is made for energy transfer. Uh, all the, the visualization, I mean, you could just pull a card and meditate on it. Uh, like I said, in the book, it actually shows different um, spreads you can use. And I'm, I'm the type of person that I just pull like one to three cards. I don't like using really big, like the Kilt the Cross and stuff like that. Because it, it's just too much to decipher. Um, but there's little... Yeah, so they have like three card spreads in here. Um, using certain parts of the decks. Um, I guess the bulk of the deck are called seed cards. So we have chakra, elemental, and seed cards. Uh, they do have some spreads in here um, to, to practice with. So if you wanted to, you could literally use this as, as like three separate decks. You know, pull the chakra cards out, what do I need to work on today? Or pull the elemental cards out and decide which you, uh, what element should you be using right now. And then you can use the seed cards as a way to um, you know, help connect to your higher self. So um, it's kind of, you know, interesting. There's different ways to play around with it. Um, it kind of looks like a creator made uh, them in mind with not everybody reads the same way so that, that's definitely neat um, like I said pretty decent book here um, I don't know I might just sit down and read through it one time um, you just kind of you know read everything but like I said a lot of these cards you could actually just kind of use intuitively um, or just like I said just sit there and meditate and, and use the energy for them um, but anyway I am super happy with this deck uh, it will take some getting used to like I said I'm not Oracle doc uh, used to Oracle cards um, so this will be a fun new addition um, it seems to be getting dark pretty quickly out here um, I didn't expect that uh, but anyway thank you for joining me again um, hopefully I can get more videos out in the future hopefully you guys enjoy these um, yeah I guess that's it um, I do want to um, go through some of my old tarot decks and make little readings um, not readings uh, reviews as well so that'll be fun so keep an eye out for that um, again, thank you for joining me. Hopeless, hopefully, <laughs> I can't talk now. Hopefully, um, you know, you might find a deck in my reviews that are going to be interesting to you. I will post a link. I got this on Amazon. Um, they're not affiliate, affiliated. I'm not making any money from this. I'm just doing this because I want to, uh, and I want to get this out there for you guys. So anyway, um, have a great night or day wherever you are, and I hope to see you again. Bye.